If you have modeled with Akikad before, you'd know how frustrating this is. The walls don't seem to represent correctly, especially around the junctions. So today, we're going to try and fix that frustration with a heart. Handy advanced tips from Naletech Studio. Hi everyone, my name is Namara Allen and welcome to Naletech Studio. If you are new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe and hit the like button and let's get started with this video. So welcome back to Archicard and we have just had this issue and it's pretty disturbing to understand what really is going on here because what actually is happening is that uh, we have two walls meeting one which is here and the second wall which is here but the area where they meet really is such a disturbing detail for us because currently Archicad is prioritizing this wall over this wall, which is not really ideal. So what do we do? Let's try and select this wall. We are going to settings by control T and you have this dialog box. Now in this dialog box, you want to watch out for the model tab and just underneath you have this override surfaces but there is this one unique thing that you haven't used probably in like forever but uh, I will just explain a bit on how it works. So the junction order is a place where you tell Archicad which walls to prioritize or which walls are going to be given more priority over the others and this is pretty important when you're dealing with composite walls where you have different kinds of compositions of a wall joining into another composition of a wall so you tell Archicad here which wall should be given priority but in our case we just want to represent correctly in 3d the wall we have selected we want to give it more priority because by default all walls are going to be given a priority of number eight and these priority numbers range from 0 to 16. So anything that you add on will prioritize that wall over the basic walls and anything that you subtract will make the wall of less priority to others. So let me increase this to 9 just to show you just what happens. And boom, problem solved. This is pretty cool and uh, we no longer have the same problem but wait because we have a problem right here and this is why you should stick around until my third tip. So this has been the very first tip I got for you. We will try and do what we have learned to somewhere like there grab this wall and we want it to be prioritized so we go to Control t for the settings and as we said before watch out for the model area and in the junction order increase its priority and we say okay and look at that so amazing and so simple to do so you will have to go around and do that for the rest of the thing. So this is the final example that we can do. Just select the wall, control T to go to the settings, identify junction wall and increase its priority to nine and problem solved. So the second tip that I like to share with you is to override the existing edge surface with the color that you like. For example, if we have a problem right here, we can decide to override this surface with a color that we like. Uh, if you go to the settings by control T, you'll notice that we have the outside face, edge face, and the inside. You might want to change just the edge surface so we do not tamper with the outside one and the inside. And then we change this to that. So you will see that we have both the outside and the edge, the color that we want, and the rest of the inside wall has been left to whatever it is. Press OK and 
it has solved it so when you come inside here you can see that we have maintained the white color inside so if you wanted to make like an interior render that face is representing correctly and also on the outside the texture that is there is different which is so pretty cool so now let's uh, do the same thing on this example go to Control t in this case make sure that you uncheck the link surface because well, you might want to deal with this thing differently because any changes you make will be on these three surfaces. So unlink them and then make sure that the edge surface is the one you change to the color that's supposed to match. And we say, okay, and boom, problem solved. So let's go and do this one more example, which is the area around here so select the wall ctrl t to go to the settings and make sure the link surface is unchecked and select the new texture or color for your walls and problem is solved so when we pan back again even this side is representing correctly and let's try and understand what really is happening which will lead us to our final tip. I'm going to enable a 3D cutaway in order to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Finalize here, press all to orbit and come in here. So you can see what is actually happening here. We have this interior wall that is coming all the way up to here and Akikad is prioritizing it, which is not ideal. Exactly what is happening for this other wall because in real life, this surface would be painted or would be finished with the same stone as this one. So if we tried, for example, to select this wall, go to settings by Ctrl T and unlinked and changed this to stone or two which is the same color here we do have this which is pretty ideal i think but when you orbit and come to the interior space right there you can see that we have a little bit of a problem because if you wanted to make an interior render this is going to be a bit of a problem and you might not want that so this is what we are going to do let's undo that so instead we are going to select this wall and i think this other wall is supposed to receive the same treatment i guess ctrl t to go to the settings so in here, we are going to use the very first method, which is to increase the priority of the junction order. And we say, okay, the problem has been fixed, so to say, but we still have this problem here. So the final tip that I like to share with you is select this wall, holding down shift select this other wall ctrl t to go to the settings also in the model you want to go down and see something here which you haven't used quite often but is pretty helpful which is end surface override using adjoining walls so you want to check that and look what happens let's say okay and look at that that's so amazing and it's representing correctly here and if you pan also on the outside you can see that the this other side is representing correctly so we can have both the exterior renders and the interior renders representing correctly and so well so amazing so finally we go back to this first option which we kind of wanted to solve so using that technique we will select this wall shift select this wall ctrl t to go to the settings and in here make sure that in the dialog box we are at the modo leaving everything else the way it is check and surface override and we can click okay and look at this this is insane 
how did I not notice? There you have it. The three things that might probably change your modeling forever. And my work here is done. Like this video to help more people and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.